expedition, and adventure has followed them everywhere. Of course, for a true Viking, adventure becomes a part of the daily routine. Nevertheless, it's always nice to be going home. Mm. Mm. Something wrong, Dad. This is bad, really bad. How do we get out of this? Dad's been acting really peculiar for several days now. I wonder what's the matter with him. Well, he hasn't got a strong character. He worries about trifles. I don't understand it. We should reach Flack in three days. Dad should be jumping for joy. We should all be jumping for joy, all of us. But there's a black cloud on the horizon. A black cloud? Well, before the day is out, we'll be passing through the Straits of Denmark. That will be a tight squeeze. Every ship which passes through the Straits of Denmark has to give up a portion of the cargo it carries. Some maritime tax. Here's an illustration of the system of taxation. One of their wangles, they take two from 20 bangles. But now they're more demanding. The tax keeps on expanding. Now it's five from 20 where once just two were plenty. According to what I've heard, it's even more than that now. Now it's eight out of 20. Goodness, can't we get out of it somehow? No, we can't, worse luck. They lie in wait off the mouth of the straits. No way to dodge them. Since we have to give up a certain amount of our cargo, maybe we should work out what to give them. Tell us, wise your robe, can you work out how much they'll take from us? Well, that's rather difficult. Can you figure it out, Vicky? Oh, I'm not as wise as old Urov, but I think it's obvious. We have to give up our shares. Huh? <laughs> What, what do you, you mean, mean, give, give up, up our shares? shares? Well, just work it out for yourselves. Right, say we have a hundred gold coins in the hold. Let's say they take 40 out of a hundred. Say they take 20 necklaces out of 50. 10 goblets out of 25. 40 yards of silk from a bolt of a hundred yards. In other words, they're going to take two-fifths of our cargo. Uh -huh. That's unacceptable. It's undemocratic. It's intolerable. That means that some of our comrades must lose their shares. Say, Snore, for example. And what does it have to be my share? Well, it's only an example, Snore. All I'm saying is somebody must give up his share. In that case, why not your share? My share? Not a chance. My decision on that subject is irrevocable. <laughs> That's enough of that squabbling, huh? There'll be enough left for every man. That's my irrevocable decision. So you say, but what do you mean well, by well, enough? That one, that as usual, the working man has got to well suffer. You can argue as much as you like. When you've got to pay, you've got to pay. Ah, trouble on the starboard bow. Three galleys under full sail bearing down on us. Three galleys? Yes, yes, three galleys and the galleys of Sven. Sven ships? That's all we need. Thor's curse on our luck. The damn tax man in front of us and behind us, Sven the Terrible. This is a desperate situation. Well, all we have to do is fire flaming arrows at their sails. We can't pull the same trick twice. They're not idiots. Their sails are folded. If they catch us this time, we are for it. We'll have to roll for it again. Quick, take to the oars.
I get the feeling they've noticed our presence. Ha <laughs> ha! They're probably dying of fright. Don't open up those sails, whatever you do. Make the men row twice as fast as those Vikings. What can we do? Let me go for a start. Yes, Even if we get away from Sven, that damn tax man will get us. What's the point? Sven will carry off all the treasure we have. The tax man will at least leave us something. Well said, wise Europe. That's why we have to escape from Sven. Row, you slackers, row for your lives! Those Vikings of Flak are tougher than I thought. Let's make porcupines of them. I'll trust your posts. afraid of his pinpricks. Surely you're not hiding, Vicky. You, a son of flak, no Viking trembles before the foe, even if it's Sven the Terrible. <laughs> Their pathetic arrows will never reach us. I'm not so sure about that. Ah! But of course, that's the answer. I'm sure of it. I think it ought to work in principle. First take down the sail, then get out the emergency oars. What's that? You want us to take down the sails? You're not thinking of surrendering. Huh? Not at all. Good news, Captain Sven. The Vikings have taken down the sails. Ha oh, they've realized they can't do anything against us. Now we'll show them what they get for daring to defy Sven the Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Vicky. Does that suit you? Just the job. You're really a great chief. Huh? Stand by, Fax. We're going to need you. Relax. Good. Right, let's go. Ready, Fax? Yeah. Pull back a bit more. Aim a little to the left. Watch out. It's dangerous. Get your head down, Gorm, or you might lose your helmet. Ready, Fax? Let go! <laughs> what to do. There must be some way of avoiding this maritime tax. Oh, oh, I've got an idea. All we have to do is let some of the lads land before us. We could put them ashore at a point just before the straits, then they can carry all our loot, making sure that they stay well clear of the taxmen, and that's that. You're forgetting that they'd have to struggle through thick forests infested with thieves and robbers. Old Europe is perfectly right. These bandits would not only steal all our treasure, which will be bad enough, but they would also kill us to make sure we don't talk, which is worse. Huh? The taxman might take all we have, but he'd give us our lives. 
Well, there must be some way to dodge that tax. Mm. Yes! That's it, I found the answer. We just give it all to Sven. Give it to Sven? What's this, some kind of joke? We just have to play the role of travelers in distress. What do you mean, travelers in distress? We're going to arrive in a pitiful state as if we've been attacked and robbed by Sven. What about the treasure, Smarty? We'll put it in a net, which we can attach to the keel, made fast with a strong rope. Then we can drag the net with the loot in our wake, and nobody will notice a thing. That should work all right for the jewelry and the gold coins, but what about the silk? It'll be damaged, but that's better than nothing. He thought you will have to be really slick, or else they're sure to spot as a trick. The main thing is to put on a convincing display. We'll have to get bandaged up as if we'd really been attacked and beaten up by Sven. Some of us can play dead, and others can act crippled to create the right impression, you know? I think, Benny, we should get into practice! Ah, it's been the terrible job! I'm physically and mentally a wreck! I'm suffering dreadfully! I'm dying! I'm almost dead! Congratulations on your performance! Hey, I'll never make it through Let's drop the anchor and get to work on our performances! Sven the Terrible had really massacred us. What do you think you're doing if you cut down the mast? We will never get home, will we? What are you waiting for? Get the loot ready. Well, that's what we're doing. Leave one or two trinkets for the poor tax man. If we leave him nothing, he might get upset and confiscate our oars or something. <laughs> All right, haul up the net. Lower it slowly now. Make it fast at both ends. I'd feel really stupid if we lost it now, eh? <laughs> this bangy should be really convincing. No doubt about it. Ugh! What's going on? Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> By Thor, they're at it again. Now, boys, stop it. Let them be. A few authentic battle scars will help. Oh, I'm covered in blood. It's tomato sauce, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Fishing boat at the starboard bow. All right, lads, it's time for the dress rehearsal. Let them see we've been attacked and robbed. Concentrate and don't be afraid to overdo it. Agreed. <laughs> What's the verdict? Wonderful. It was just like a real battlefield. I get the feeling we've got a success in our hands. What's the problem? I think you look far too elegant. You're only going to arouse suspicion. The tax man's no fool. Mm, we're going to have to make you up for the occasion. What if I try to look nasty? Would that do it? Mm -hmm. No, no. If I try to look stupid? No, no, no. Too realistic. <laughs> I think I know what you want. Ah! No, 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 no. The best would be if we couldn't see your face at all. Huh? Huh? No, 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 not that. Get on! Keep away from me!
Here's the tax man in his rowing boat. We're going to have to put on a great performance. And don't forget, yes. Sven got away with all our loot. We well, understand. Ugh. 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 Whatever happened to them? <laughs> Poor souls, I'm sorry for them. I'm not interested in their problems. Go and check their cargo. This won't be much checking. There's hardly anything there. I've never seen a hold so empty. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, don't touch me, that was that Sven the Terrible attacked you? Oh, yes, your lordship. He and his men stole all our cargo and went away, leaving us for dead on the deck. That Sven is really terrible. Mm, sir, we gathered a few odds and ends. We found three goblets, three silver plates, two necklaces, an empty barrel, two old sacks, and uh, three tomatoes. Three tomatoes? Is that all that's left? Huh? They took everything we had. Whatever am I going to tell my oh. and some of the merchandise is escaping. It's coming up to the surface. Ah! Oh, what shame, what dishonor. Nothing to take on. Oh, fellow, the shock has driven him almost insane. Fish him out quick before he drowns. Well done. You mean they swallowed it? Ah, ah. I've been doing this job for 35 years and I've never seen a boat in such a pitiful state. Neither have I, but let's stay a while. They say that Vikings sometimes hide their loot in nets which they attach to the keel. Huh? Have the sides of the ship been thoroughly checked? Well, did you see anything? I can't see a thing, sir. Nothing at all. Look again more carefully. There's maybe something on the other side. Ah! <laughs> Getting a bit fed up of hearing them whining like children. Let's go. We'll find nothing here. Uh, Your Highness, may I crave a humble favor? Please don't tell anyone about this, or we'll never be able to show our faces. Hmm. Hmm. I can see that. The inhabitants of Flack must never learn that Sven the Terrible humiliated us in this way. That's the kind of misfortune that can happen especially to those with a guilty conscience. Our consciences are clear enough. Ah! Ah! All right, you have my word. I'll speak of this to nobody. Thank you. I understand your honor is at stake. But on that subject, there are a few details to settle. To my profound regret, I have to take a little surplus merchandise off your hands. The usual maritime tax, you know. This is the first time we've taken such a meager offering, and I have a feeling our king is not going to be overjoyed. I'll have to tell him what pathetic Vikings you are. Please don't cry, Dad. It'll pass, you'll see. We came from Flack in search of treasure. We found much pain and not much pleasure. Oh, uh, oh, oh, three silver goblets, that's all we have to show. Oh, listen, Mr. Taxman, to this our tale of woe. Excuse the slip, your lordship. We'll gladly render all we own. Ah, but you can't get blood out of a stone. Ah. That's a touching song, apart from a slip which I'll overlook. But I'm a lover of music, too, especially folk music. Keep at it, my boy, you'll make it. <laughs> I'm a patron of the arts, despite my job. Please accept this ring as a token. Oh. No, no, I beg of you, it's a mere trifle. Oh, I know what people say about me. They say I'm greedy and all I care about is collecting taxes. But I only carry out orders for our king. 
Have another. Here. Sir, sir, three vessels approaching under the flag of the dragon. Aha, uh -huh, it's my friend Sven the Terrible. Sven? Again? As I was saying, I'm really a generous sort. I'm going to tax that pirate at double the rate to make up for his wrongdoing. <laughs> Let's go. Set course for Sven's boats. Ahoy there! Halt at once! We know who you are. You're Sven the pirate. It's a taxman! Helm to starve and quick, get out of here! The rogue is trying to get away. Don't let him escape. After him! No! <laughs> well, it takes a thief to catch a thief. Birds of a feather, as they say. To flack! Let's get going! Turquoise seas. Here, freshen up your ideas. Ooh. Hey, what are you playing at? You've Have you got gone a swollen mate? head. I thought I'd make you a compress. Oh, stop that. Stop it. The show's over now. Let them be while they're fighting the nut-talking nonsense, eh? <laughs> <laughs>